What's going on everyone, it's Rick Harder here and you're watching Computer Tech TV. Today I am going to be testing the G-Skill Ripjaw DDR3 memory that I received from the Overclock.net member. I made a video a few days ago and then I made a follow-up video to that about the proper way to package desktop memory. Now it was kind of a video that came out of nowhere and I didn't mean to offend anyone in the process of that, but you know this stuff costs money and so when you ship it you know you want to make sure that it's going to be safe so that was just my point of all that anyway moving on I'll show you guys the memory if you guys haven't seen it already and I put it in this anti-static bag just to there you go so that's it it's DDR 1333 and someone asked me if I had any 1600 megahertz sticks these will all run at 1600 I might have to adjust the timing slightly, but they will run at 1600. So what I need to do is, if you guys want to take a look up here, I need to take out the memory that I currently have in the system, and yes it is running right now because it runs all the time on my high speed PC tech station. Okay, so I've removed the Kingston HyperX memory and I have installed G-Skill Ripjaws. So now I will turn the computer on and we will test them out and I'll let you guys know if they're good or not. Okay, well, so far success. We're in BIOS, we got it set 1333, 999.24. Everything else is set to default, what it is rated to, and then I have the voltage here set to 1.5 volts, which is what it's rated to. I have my boot menu here set to boot the mem test so let's exit this go into mem test and I will run a few passes of that and we'll see if the memory is stable and I'll boot up into windows and check out the CPU-Z Alright, so we are in memtest86, starting on the first pass, get back to you guys after we are finished. Alright, well I completed a few passes of memtest and I ran max mem here, and you can see what our score and what our readings are for that. Not too bad, and you can see here on the left we have CPU-Z, showing what our settings are here. And I thought this was a 4 gigabyte kit, but it looks to be, it says right here size is 8192 megabytes, which that would lead me to believe this is an 8 gigabyte kit, which is really strange unless that's some kind of glitch on there. I didn't look closely on the sticker. Look at the SPD. And it says 4 gigabyte there, but I don't know if that's per stick. Yeah, module well, module size 4096 megabytes. Huh. So here's our timing tables. 1.5 volts. So there you go guys. I guess it uh, passes. Good to go on this. Now I will test out my other set of memory and then I might do a comparison between all three of them see what's the best performer then I will start overclocking them and messing with the timing see which set of memory I can get to the best settings and highest performance so go from there guys so thanks a lot for watching you guys all have a great day and lots more videos to come